and welcome back to 19B. So, the absorption hopper, we're going to need a add-on, right? Add-on. So, the plus one would give us a 3x3 three three area. The plus two gives us a 5x5 five five area. The plus two is the lapis. Okay. So we need two of these. We're going to need one stained glass. And we're going to need the lapis. So if we do this, that should be perfect. So let's go out to our iron. and see about setting this up. Iron was where? Right here. Alright, so if I want iron, I'm going to put that there. Show the working area, and if I put that up there, the working area goes to here, but it should only interact with plants, so that's fine. Uh, don't show the working area anymore. Now, flux point on top of it. Crafter on top of that. Absorption hopper. Okay, so flux point on top of it. And pick our network. Okay, so there's that. That works. This goes on top of there. Okay, good. There's that. And then this gets sucked into these. Now we want this to be semi-centered, so f that would be here. The sad thing is this typically does a 7x7 seven seven area, but let's do this. If I put that there, and I tell it to go up for item, show the area. Yeah, see, that's a fairly large area. You can't really make it smaller. You can just offset it. But that should suck up all the stuff we're getting out of this or all the things we're getting out of this should go into here then into there, right? And now we do like that and put this there. Hold on. We have to get on the top of this extract always active. Now that may have gone into here. It did. This is going to be insert. This is going to be extract always active. This is going to not work. Something's not right there, really. Alright, so I guess we have to use take those out. So we're going to have to pump them into there like it said. So first recipe. Um, items in input slots are consumed, right? 
result of the crafting operation will go to the output buffer. Okay, that's what we want. And we want this to make us iron ingots. Just like that. Let's go grab the other. Apparently, we can't use the ones I want to. So let's go grab our hardened servo and our item ducts. Hardened servo, item duct. Maybe I have the task screen the wrong way. Alright, so there, there. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I've got the task screen the wrong way. task screen task want to do the iron right the iron ingot so every iron ingot will get us one currency input mode wait what is this don't know what that is. Input mode icon. Air. List all modes. Is there like a conduit in here? There are conduits in here. Now, task screen is one by one by one. So let's put that down. Can we put that down on top of that? Nope. Oh, there we go. So that will be insert. This will be extract always active. And now let's see if it works. So is this where that player chest comes in? So, okay. What does this mean? Input only. If it's input only true, then what happens? I don't know. But that's how it's supposed to work, right?
Will I still get them no matter how far away I am from it? Yeah, I will. So now we need that player chest, don't we? Where's our player chest? Not in here. Can put that up. And that up. Can put these away. Can find our player chest. And for player chest, we need grid power. Okay, hold on. Let's go pause that for a minute while we work out the grid power side of this. That's pretty cool. How much is this holding on to? Quite a bit. Okay. Alright, so grid power in the player chest. Um, our water mills are here. We need some water. So water mills are pretty easy. So one water mill would go here. We would put one water there. And one water here. And now that's giving us 16 grid power. Then we put one water here, or one water mill there. And one water there. And now we've got 32 grid power. And then we put one more water mill here. One more thing of water there. And we should have 48 grid power. So now we have 48 grid power. Not not bad. For, I'm missing a bucket. Where's my other bucket? Did it get stuck somewhere? Not below us. Did it get stuck inside here somewhere? Well, that's not cool. Oh, there it is. What the... How'd you get in, dumb dog? Mm. All right, so there's the buckets. Buckets away. 
Grab our player chest. And one of the foods we just made, because we made quite a bit of food, right? Let's see, what do we want to try first? Let's go with the cooked toe futton. Alright, so the player's chest uses grid power to what? So, access... I'm not sure how this works. That goes up there. So how do I turn the coins in? I mean, it's nice that the player chest has this, but how do I turn the coins in? Alright, so go back to here. Got all these coins. No. 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 Although we did kill a troll and a fire dragon. Got some other stuff we need to kill. Kill one sea serpent. Wow. Kill one giant miner. One armored giant. So the, both of those we can kill. Alpha Yeti. That's all Twilight Forest. Defeat Vampire Varen. Only found in Vampire Forest. Well, we know where one of those are. A Frost Maw. A Ferris Rotnot. A uh, Baraco, an Elder Guardian, the Ender Dragon. Okay, hold on. How do I? So I got 9401. It's the Miner's Grotto. How do I give the money? How do I change the money? Like, if I want to do this, how do I do that? Like, literally, how do I get these coins? Oh, that's how I do it. Okay, that works. So I don't really need this. Oh, wow. No, no access. That's what I want. I mean, that's kind of cool that it can take stuff straight from my inventory and have it in this chest. No, I don't want full access. I want no access. Okay, so that's kind of cool that it could put stuff in that chest, but what I'm really looking for is for us to be able to just get money. That might be something I have to do between episodes, huh? Because you guys don't really want to see me just sitting here getting cash, right? Uh, yeah, see, we don't want to hold those either. Ah, so shift right click allows us to do the whole stack. And so while that's running, we can just grab money. So how long will it take us to get to 40? I mean, we started out at 9, but how long would it take us? And if we did that whole field...
we're at what 12 so that's that's something that I'll be doing AFK at some point not sitting here while you guys are having to watch me I will pause oh I'm only at 10 I was reading 12 but I was reading it wrong It's cool that it'll automatically go in my inventory no matter where I'm at, though. We only have three Iron Essence in there. Alright, so that's cool. We know that that'll work, so I'll AFK that at some point. In the meantime, you know, that's all fine and dandy. What do we need to finish this? So we're going to have to do Inferium Ingots. Inferium ingots start with a base essence which starts with iron ingots. Well, the cool thing is we can make iron. So let's grab some iron essence. <laughs> iron essence? Blah, blah, blah. Grab some iron essence. Don't know if I have any in here. Dimensional shards? I have prosperity. Sorry, not dimensional. Prosperity shards? I had two sets. And up here, almost a full set. All right. So we go out here to our mystical agriculture area. And I don't have any in here. So we can only do half of these. Uh, we can do a little more than half, but we'll do half. So that gives us the base essence, right? In order to do the base essence to the next essence, we're going to need to do Inferium. So if we grab this for a little bit. I have one, two, three, four there. So well, I actually don't need all four, right? I only need two of them. So we do that, and we do that, and that gets us the inferium okay we don't need that because you know worst case scenario I could go down from here uh, let's grab two of these we've got the inferium we've got the prudentium okay we've got the intermedium Okay, um, let's grab half a stack here, okay, a stack of this, okay, so the intermediate goes to the supremium, like that. That supremium goes to the intermedium. That supremium goes to the prudentium. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, not quite four. No, nope, not that one. Uh, this one, let's do half of this. All right, so one, two, three, four. Put these back. I have two. Let's make ourselves two more. Let's put that one up there. And then let's make ourselves four more. All right, so. We want one, two, three, four of each, right? Gives us not as many of these, but you know what? We can grab those anytime we want. Okay, so now we're going to do that. 
to give us those. All right, so that gets us all the way across the top there, right? We need 64 Insanium ingots, which are made... Yeah, see? Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We're going to need more Prosperity Shards. So we've got 32 of them. Going to need more. So we'll go throw this here and that there. And I guess that there. And we're going to hunt down some Prosperity Shards. The These right here. We're going to have to upgrade the these. It requires the theoretical infinite water source, which isn't that bad. I mean, we can make that with our base essence and our water essence, because we have water essence. The fertilizer. Now, does this just increase each time? Or we have to make one for each? Oh, see? Right there. Nether stars. Man, this makes it difficult. Signalum, Thaumium, Octine. What the heck is this? How do I make these? Where does this come from? Casting. Molten Octine. Octine. Okay. Where does Molten Octine come from? Magma Crucible. Oh, great. Bottler, Squeezer, Melter smelt any of those but is there a oh from the between lands so that's somewhere we're going to have to go to get that alright well so now we know fiery ingot fiery ingot is what wasn't that fiery metal it's Twilight Forest. No, I don't want the, the stat. So the Twilight Forest to get the fiery metal. So we're going to have to... Fiery Blood and... We need four of them. So we can do an Iron Ingot and Fiery Blood or Fiery Tears. Okay, so there's that one. Thaumium Night Slime. We've got Night Slime, and we can make that, right? We made the Night Slime, so there's no reason why we can't make the ingot. Right there. Might as well get that one running. Since we've already made the ingots. Uh, we need one of these... It's intermedium, so I'm going to need four of this. I'm going to need four of you. I'm going to need eight of you, actually. So there's that, and then the night slime ingot itself is there. All right, so night slime. Not that difficult. Um... We're going to have to go to the Twilight Forest. Are we? Am I ready to go to the Twilight Forest? I, I kind of like flight, but we can't really do flight. That's the other thing. You know what? Let's go to the Nether. One of the cool things about having... You know what, let's not do it that way. Let's grab these, right? Because these are... This is still working like it's supposed to. So, we'll grab these. And we'll be right back. 